When you knit as much as I do, sometimes wooden needles are a casualty. So you can see, I split this poor guy right here at the tip. So what you're going to want is an implement of sanding. Now I have a sanding block because I'm always sanding the end of something. Uh, but sandpaper would work, a fine grit, or also I have in an emergency used an emery board or a nail file. So don't worry if you don't have a whole lot of tools. The important trick to this is wax paper, not parchment paper, not cling wrap, not aluminum foil, wax paper. And I'll show you why in a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is take down the damaged part. You don't want the point so sharp that it's going to break off or want to split again, but of course you want it sharp enough that you can knit with it. So I want to make sure it's really smooth and then I'm going to work on this taper some more. If you need to for the sake of knitting comfort, you can extend the taper back into the main part of the knitting needle. However, you want to be careful that you don't take some of the finish off going all the way back because that will change the circumference of the knitting needle, which means it won't be whatever millimeter you have marked on there. I always want to go to that smooth side for some reason. So I'm going to just extend the taper the least little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is knit with it <laughs> to make sure that the point works for my knitting. This seems to be okay, but I'm just going to knit a row on this little sample to make sure I'm happy. And here is where the wax paper comes in. Instead of trying to paint finish on it or open a jar of stain or anything that's going to make me not want to fix this, it's going to make me just want to throw it out and go to the store and buy another one. If you use a little friction and you use wax paper, again, wax paper, not anything else, the heat from your hands and the heat from the friction and the motion from the friction is going to take the least little bit of wax off of your wax paper and apply it to the raw wood, which is going to make the finish feel like the finish on the rest of the needle. Okay, so now instead of raw wood here, I have neatly finished wood. The other wax paper trick is if you get a rough spot on any of your wooden knitting needles, because it happens, if you are making repetitive motion, your tools are gonna have repetitive wear. Just find that rough spot, get some wax paper, smooth it over. It's going to make your tool last a lot longer. So don't throw out these split wooden knitting needles, save them. Please check out some other knitting videos we have here in the channel and thanks so much for joining me.